Welcome back, everybody, to Kumikichi Plays the Stanley Parable. Are you ready to give in to this guy, give in to the man, and do what he wants you to do because you have no other choice because everything else resets the game? Me too! Alright, let's go in the left door. What do you got to say to me? Anything? Anything important? Oh, look, this room's not all fucked up. Yet there was not a single person here either. <laughs> Feeling a wave of disbelief, Just Stanley keep going decided on. to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I really want to erase this whiteboard so badly. Does he make click like typing sounds? Sounds like he makes typing sounds when you try to do stuff. What's going on here? Complete today's unfinished agenda items. Right next day's agenda. Reflect. Not cost efficient. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. Hire somebody to fire the paper guy. Who moved my desk? Okay. Oh. I wanted to see tips on not getting fired. Rate it with charts on the same slide to pick the same information. Rate of increase in graphs per slide. Oh god! The boss appreciation minute. I want to see the tips of not getting fired. I love the I love the word synergize everywhere, because that's like the biggest bullshit corporate word that you could ever use. It's great. Uh. Oh, a boat. My dream for the future is a boat. Room closet. I heard that guy's trapped in there. Oh, he's fucked then. He trapped in there forever. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his What kind of office. staircase is this? Why would you put a staircase where you can't go down to the doors right there? So you have to like literally jump over this bar to get up here? That's some bullshit. It's very bright outside. It's only giving me like one choice now. Oh wait, here we go. No? Okay, guess I'll go into the office. I mean, if you didn't want me to make choices, you could have just programmed the game to have all the doors shut, like here. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was oh, once yeah. again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. I am the most Shocked, expensive boss. Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely oh. behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. Oh, it was behind the bookshelf. He knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. <laughs> was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. Oh. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Look at this like swag ass like portrait though. If I was ever like a big boss at a company, I'd put a big like swag portrait of me up in my office. Just because. Stanley you know what? The code. Why is this? Night shark one one five. Why is the thing he back here the a different color? Right there on the wall. Is there a secret door in here? You know what? You calm the fuck down, sir. I can do what I want. I'm sorry. Is there a problem? Yeah. You didn't mishear me, did you? I did. Please. Please tell me again. The code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. I don't know. I think I'd like to fuck with this bookshelf some more, if you don't mind. Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for <laughs> your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows Oh my god. Chances. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. Business strategy. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you I wanted to do. did go through there. the door on why the right. You, come this way? you fucked me over. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Oh no, I was looking. Oh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, what? he entered the door on his What? Left. Oh god, what's going What's going on? 
I just I didn't say it fast enough, so now I'm okay? having an out of body experience. I, I need you to make a choice. The end. I need you to walk through the door. I what? To me. <laughs> what? Are you serious right now? Stanley, this is important. Wait, what? The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. What? It cannot exist is this, without you. Do you understand this, me? Is that the choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you Is this for real? You to take that step forward, please. Is this for real? Choose. Do something. Well, he can't move now. This is more important than you can ever know. He's just a dude. I need this. The story needs it. This is literally like how game developers think too, man. They're like, God, please just work. I've had my entire life on this. I'm I'm so confused right now as to what's going on. I will go back in probably and play through just making all the choices again. See what happens. Is this really the end? Is it? Wow, so you get different endings based on what you do? I must have really pissed that guy off for the game to end. That was All of his co-workers were gone. Weird. Okay. Well, I guess to go to that the was something I did. So I'm gonna try out different choices next time. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next episode. If you like this video, please like and comment and subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. I will figure out what the fuck is even going on next episode. And we'll see it together, I guess, because I am confused as fuck. Have a good one, guys.